Hey guys, Alex here from Alex's Elderberries and Apiaries and I wanted to show you uh, our new hive down there on the end. That's our swarm that we caught last week. But we've got some interesting um, turn of events. We've had lots of rain and cold since that swarm was caught. And while there are bees coming and going, uh, we're a little concerned about the dip in temperature tonight. We don't see a ton of activity. This middle hive, it's pretty strong. It's been a strong hive from the beginning. And this actually has been a super strong hive. This is our flow hive. Um, but I'm pretty sure this is the hive that swarmed. And as you can see, there are dozens of dead bees here. Uh, and so we don't really know what's going on there, but even though it is a cold, damp day, I'm a little concerned for this little hive here. And so uh, I am going to quickly go into it and add a feeder to the top of the hive so that it'll get them through the next few nights of really cold temperatures. And we may, may, may have to take a peek at what's going on inside this hive. All right, so this is the new swarm hive that we caught five days ago. It is March 5th today and it is right now about 40 degrees it's been raining for two days this poor swarm has had cold and rain because they swarmed very early in the season and they came off of what i believe is one of my other hives which is a very big strong hive which had been very active through the warm weather we had through february and now we are march 5th and we have this thing that we need to um, we need to give them some food because the temperatures are going to drop in the next few days uh, for a couple of days straight and I'm really concerned that this hive is not going to survive if we do not uh, give it some food. So rather than uh, go into another hive and disrupt two hives and get honey frames, we're going to put some feeders in this hive to, uh, to get them through the next few days, help strengthen them, and uh, once this cold snap is done, they will be good to go and forage and get their own nectar stores. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to smoke the front of the hive. Just to calm down any alarm pheromones they might throw off. And then we're going to crack this lid and see what happens. Now they don't want to be disturbed right now. Okay, so we got the hive outer cover off and we got a bunch of bees all milling around. They actually look pretty jam packed in there, which is a sign that they're keeping each other warm. And that's what we want to see. We got some dead bees that didn't survive the... Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna put two hive bodies on top of the inner cover. And they're actually really, the bees are very calm right now. Not very active. It's cold. They're trying to warm their hive. And keep it warm, keep that queen warm, keep the brood warm, which is the babies. So we're going to help them stay fed by giving them a little bit of an organic sugar water formula. And so we've just got these hive feeders that we're gonna put inside the hive body. And I'm just doing things very quickly but carefully. And I've got a bee flying around me already. So I have an organic sugar water with holes poked in that's just gonna fit on top of that feeder. And they are gonna be very happy to have that. There we go. And that's it. I was a little concerned about going in there because it is a big swarm and it's cold and I didn't wanna annoy those bees, but that actually worked out pretty well. So you can see we've got the outer cover, got two brood boxes. Here's the inner cover. So most, most of the activity is going on in these two bottom boxes. And that's what we kept this cover here to keep them warm. 
but they'll be able to come up through the hole in the inner cover and get to those feeders. And they've probably already started because their sense of smell is amazing. All right, so that's that. Relatively unscathed, but now we're going to take a look inside that flow hive and see what's going on. Okay, so this is my flow hive and um, it doesn't have the Flow Honey Super on it yet. I uh, started the, this hive relatively late in the season last year, so I decided to give it a full season to build up the brood. And it was doing really well. Um, they were building comb incredibly fast. Uh, I even pulled a couple frames of honey out before I left them their honey for the winter. But peculiar enough, we have um, a lot of dead bees. And sorry, you can probably see my smoke from my smoker. Let me move it behind me here. We have a lot of smoke from a lot of dead bees, uh, or a lot of dead bees are on the landing board right now. And my concern is that this was the hive, strong as it was, that swarms. And the swarm is doing great, but I have a feeling that this hive uh, has been left weak and uh, without all of those worker bees to warm and protect and feed the brood, um, it could spell uh, some problems for this hive. So we're gonna go into it, even though it's a cold, wet day and it's not an ideal time to go into a hive, um, but there's a lot going on with this hive. Um, you can see some footage that I put up with the dead bees and, uh, and we need to figure out what's going on with this, with this poor hive. So we're gonna go into it now. Right, so we're going to go ahead and smoke the entrance. Now, historically, this has been a relatively active hive. I wouldn't call it aggressive, but they definitely uh, were always there to greet me when I came in to it. So we're going to figure out what's going on inside this hive. because we want to make sure if there's some assistance that they need that they're getting it. Now, I went into this hive about six weeks, maybe eight weeks ago, and I gave them some dry sugar. And we're just gonna give them a little cup of smoke because it is a cold day and we don't want to see them. Oh, they're already coming down and flying straight from my face. They don't like that I'm in here. And I'm gonna take the footage down and I'm gonna show you, take the camera down and show you in a second. We have lots of hive beetles and a little bit of, there was a box of dry sugar in here. So I'm just taking that out. But what we're gonna do is this was an empty brood box that was put on to hold the dry sugar. And we're gonna take this box off because there's no need for it now. All that's happening is that the bees are just, just trying to keep that extra space warm. So um, they're relatively quiet right now, but they look like they have lots of space. And as you can see, they're flying up to my face a lot. They're not happy that I'm in there. But we're gonna pull one frame just to make sure. It looks like they've been busy in here. They're definitely not happy that I'm in here. So there's lots of beetles. Can you see all those these hive beetles? They are such a nuisance. And the best way to get rid of them is to just Kill them and smash them and that's what I'm doing right now. There's a bunch loaded up in a corner here but we do just do not want to stay in this hive for very long because they are not happy. You see them coming up to my face? Yeah they're not happy with me at all. They're probably gonna try and sting through my gloves. You know what I see I see a relatively full hive here. Yeah, 
they're not happy with me at all. All right, all right, ladies. They're attacking me quite fervently, but I just wanted to show you inside here. I got one on my, can you see that little one? He's not happy with me right now. She is not happy with me. I have a few on my, on my hood, but if you can see down in there, there are lots of bees. They look very, looks very full. I see lots of comb. Can you see that? So, like I said, I was concerned that there was, um, this hive was, was left short because of the swarm. So, all right, ladies, I know. I know you're not happy with me right now. I'm just gonna see what we can see on this frame. That's honey, honey and pollen. And actually, interestingly enough, there is somebody licking pollen. A bee is licking pollen off of another bee. And I would love to get closer, but I really just want to get into this hive, check a couple frames and get back out because they are not happy that I'm in here. And I don't know if you can hear them, but they're certainly make it, making it known to me that they do not want me in here. So, you know, again, we're checking on this to make sure that there is honey in there. I'm pretty sure that there's a queen in here. Oh yeah, we've got brood. We've got brood in here. If you can see that pale yellow stuff in the center of the frame, that means we have a queen laying right there. And actually, we have a queen cup right there and it looks like it's closed. You can see there's a closed queen cup right there. And what that typically means is that they're either making another queen. Oh, and actually we've got, if you can see right there, that is them chewing through a queen cup. See that little grub? That's gonna be a queen. Now it looks like we've got multiple queen cups going on in here. Not too sure what's going on there because there can only ever be one queen in a hive. So what will happen is if multiple queens hatch, the queen that comes out first will end up killing any subsequent queens because they are not a two queen monarchy. One queen only. So it looks like this hive is fine. I was very concerned at the number of dead bees outside and I'm gonna show you that in a second, but they would like me to go away now. So I am going to get out of their hair because they do not want me in here anymore and I don't blame them. It's cold, but they have honey in there. They've got a laying queen or they did have a laying queen but they're getting prepared to hatch another one and they are just fine. So we're going to let that hive be. So this is what's going on at the entrance to the hive. And it might be a little hard to tell initially because now they've woken up a little bit, but there are tons of dead bees. You can see there, see all those dead bees? And it's kind of crazy. 
so I was a little concerned by all these dead bees, but what's happened now is these bees are gonna come out and they're gonna carry them away from the hive. We have these workers that don't want the hive to be adulterated with these bees, so they're gonna get rid of them. So this is our flow hive. It does not have the flow super on it yet. It just has the hive body and then an extra honey super on top and we're gonna be putting the flow super on top of it this spring. But I wanted to show you they're very active right now because it's cold out and I've gone into the hive and they're not happy about that at all. So I'm not entirely sure that it's this hive that swarmed. We've got this hive over here. It's got a little bit, see that big fat drone? Look at him. He's just hanging out. He actually might be dead. There's a dead drone over there. Since it's been so cold, the first ones to go are usually the drones. So that's it.